This week, God reminded me that there's a lot to do in this kingdom, and my job is just beginning. This week, God showed me that I'm a daughter of the one true king, and my chains are forever broken. This week, God taught me the importance of having healthy relationships. This week, God taught me how important relationships were and how great a community encounter really is. This week, God reminded me the importance of reflecting upon each and every day. This week, God reminded me that I can trust Him in everything, including my plans for the future. Um, this week, God has taught me that everyone has unique gifts and talents that can be used not only to serve others, but also to serve God and further His kingdom. This week, God taught me patience, and He gave me a community of Christ followers that I can always depend on. God taught me to stop sitting and thinking and planning and just do. This week, God showed me that being mission-minded isn't just about bringing others to Christ. It's about showing Christ's love because that's what we received. This week, God taught me humility and what unconditional love truly means. This week, God taught me that the future I have planned for myself isn't necessarily the future that He has planned for me and that that's okay. This week, God taught me that even though my work is done behind the scenes, it still has a purpose and it still matters. This week, God taught me the importance of investing in a community of fellow believers. This week, God taught me that it's okay to ask for help and I don't always have to do everything myself. Um, this week, God taught me that it's not always about me, but that I can trust in His sovereign plan for my life. This week, God taught me that I am worthy, I am worth it, I am loved, I'm important, and I really am a princess of the king. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, feeding the minds of the next generation, loving them and teaching lives ready to grow. Now is the time to plant and to sow. Sow the seeds of dedication, hard work, and dreaming big, letting them know sometimes you have to dig. Dig for the discipline to step away from a fight. Dig in the darkness for a glimpse of that light, the light that God has created for us, yet somehow has been covered by the black sinful night. The world is yelling that it is okay to give up. It's okay to succumb to the dark patterns of this world. But no, God calls us to bigger, better things beyond what the world knows. We know that plants need light to grow, so how can we sit back while our children wither in the darkness? The darkness of never being good enough, never being strong enough, never knowing the light of God's love. That's where we come in. Let the little children come to me, Jesus said. We have been called through his amazing love to reach out and nurture his young, touch the minds that will one day grow to shape this ever-changing world. Take a second. Look in your backyard. There are lives that need the hands of God's workers. The harvest is ready, but the workers are few. So what are you going to do? Building relationships through telling our story, working together to bring God glory, using our hands to build a fence for a family in pain, God using it to glorify his name. Lives from the young to the old caught a glimpse of his all-amazing power. Maybe all we need to do is give up an hour, take the time to sit and listen, hear the stories of our brothers and sisters, know the struggle behind that smiling face, be a reminder of God's amazing grace. Learn to lean on each other through trials, through pain. Use our voice to sing out Christ's name. No one can go through life alone. God has called us to bring others home. Home is knowing you are wrapped in his unconditional love, knowing you are worthy in the eyes from above, learning to humble ourselves, to build up our servant's heart. That is how we can be a light in the dark. Everyone has a different talent and gift. God has created us so uniquely to go out and equip this world with life on mission. That is our calling. He will be with you always. Don't get comfortable. Don't stand idly by as our brothers and sisters are wondering why. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Are you listening to his calling? Can you hear him? God is the artist. Power tools sing song of hope as the Lord's people work in harmony, like the untouched beauty of a perfect waltz on a dance floor of broken glass and rusted out cars. Each person a perfect instrument of love, playing ballads of unconditional love over ears who long to hear the three small words that every child deserves to know. Shards of our hearts scattered across the floor like a window destroyed by an angry man as these beautiful gifts of God lap up every drop of love we have left to give while simultaneously blanketing us with the warmth of their hugs and affection, melting our selfish tendencies like snow at the first sight of spring. Little hands specifically chosen to reach out to ours as we reach out to His, the joy on their faces cascade light over every inch of our beings, ripping through our hearts like Katrina ripped through their homes. 
the sounds of laughter roar through the room, drowning out the cries of emotional disasters that have tainted their worlds. Personal barriers falling down with the limbs on the trees, being carried by one another to enable fences of friendship to be built, enveloping us with love as we lift each other up on ladders towards the hands that have placed us here. Clinging to stories of hope that are shared like the hands that clung to trees as they prayed with great faith to the Father who rescues us, mind, body, and soul. Carving our hearts like the angels that were carved into the life-saving tree. Delicate strokes of redemption painted over our lives by the ultimate artist. God is the teacher. Daily lessons of humility and grace taught by his faithful disciples who have been added into our lives to help write a better future. Doubt and fear being taken away like the problems on the board, leaving division in the textbooks and coming together in unity for the same purpose of multiplying disciples to live out Matthew 28, 19. Teachers become the students as we learn to see the world with little eyes and trust the Lord with childlike faith, specializing in subjects of community, calling, and self-awareness. Opening our eyes to see the plans that we have for ourselves aren't necessarily the plans God has for us. Allowing the Spirit to shine through us because actions, attitude, and effort speak louder than words. Being reminded of our purpose and finding the courage to step out from the comfort of our desks and stand at the front of the class. Sharing stories to turn pages in others' lives. Each gift an important chapter in the story God is writing on the coast.